Hey guys, just wanted to give a quick update. I haven't been on the forum a lot uh, with this whole coronavirus shit and uh, everything like that. I've been watching my son because I'm out of work right now. Um, so yeah, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was running with the Baisley Park guys up in Queens and uh, I sucked some dirt in through the air intake. The intake actually fell off and I didn't notice it. Um, so then when I found it, there was a, sh a bunch of dirt in the, uh, in the carb. So I took the, I took the engine apart and the engine was toast. I'll give you an update on everything else that I found just because once the engine was apart, I figured I might as well tear everything else apart, see what was going on, relube the bearings, you know, just do a once over. I am in my shed now because my wife wanted to get, my wife got a new car and she, wants she wanted the uh garage so the place is a fucking disaster um i don't have enough space and i'm not the cleanest guy in the world so let's check it out was that i'm getting a little wobble in here um after some research i realized that it's just because these bearing inserts uh are too small uh the mod mod oversized bearing kit fixes that um, but unfortunately they're out of stock everywhere so I'm gonna leave this um, and deal with that I may figure out a, a solution for a shim but I don't really want to mess with this because I'm not sure where it should be so I'd rather have this little play than like shim this and then maybe the gear mesh be too tight or whatever um, so while I was at it I cleaned all the bearings um, and then clean the bearings in here. I noticed that, I don't wonder if you guys can see this. Um, I noticed that some of these boots, this is the, the Team Chase booted axle system. Um, I noticed that some of the boots were ripped and then one of them, I'm not sure, I think it was for the front, was completely ripped and the whole thing was filled up with dirt um, and basically seized. So I took the bearings apart. Um, a great trick for the bearings is to uh, take the rubber shields off, um, dip them in mineral spirits or uh, acetone or whatever, and shake it around and, you, and just keep doing that until the water turns out clear and then blow them out and then put bearing oil in it and they're good as new. Um, the other thing that I noticed was, so this is the front of the diff housing. These bolts, these screws were completely stripped out. Um, when I took this apart, when I took the, the, when I took the front apart, as soon as I got these two, as soon as I got these two screws out, this whole thing was completely loose. Um, so I have a new... I have a new housing on the way. Um, I gotta clean this up and put new oil in it, uh, new grease in it. But again, all of this looks really good. Um, the steering's fine. Redid these bearings. Um, the other thing is that, so when I first when I first got this rig, I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, so the holes in here are way too big. Uh, so I ordered the JS Performance, uh, the JS Performance battery box. If you notice all the dirt in there, um, I'm just not a big fan of how dirty it was getting. So uh, got the JS Performance battery box, gonna put smaller holes. Uh, probably head to Home Depot and see if they have some type of grommet system. Uh, so a grommet system so that I can seal that thing up. Um, the other thing is these wheels, the hex is stripped out on me. The silver, uh, these metal insert, this metal insert fell out. And then I guess from the the force, the whole thing stripped out. Um, ordered the Axis Race Pace wheels. 
to replace with that. Um, the wheels, the actual tires, and the inserts all look good. Just clean them up. They'll be ready to go back in once I get that. Uh, and then it was just like small, small shit. Uh, so this is my new one, but the front bar, the front bar is, where is it? It's somewhere. Um, the front brace for the, for the bumper was broken, uh, had a new one. Uh, so that won't be a problem to replace. And then I think that's it. Um, just waiting on some parts now and then I'll get everything back together. I think it's, uh, I think this whole thing should be back. It should be back together as a roller again in about within the week. Um, but then I'll just have, I'll just be waiting for the new top end kit from OBR, which will be about maybe another two weeks or so. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it.